The Magnificent Ferengi is the tenth episode of the sixth season of Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 134th episode overall. The title is a reference to the film The Magnificent Seven, and the episode makes several minor homages to the film. This involves mostly Star Trek's Ferengi characters. Quark's and Rom's mother is taken captive by the Dominion and so they put together a team to rescue her. Topic Overview This episode, production number 40510-534 as the sixth episode of season 10, was broadcast on television on December 17, 1997 in syndication. It was written by Ira Stephen Bear and Hans Beimler, and directed by Chip Chalmers. The plot revolves around the Ferengi aliens of the Star Trek franchise, with many of the main Ferengi characters of Star Trek, Deep Space Nine figuring prominently, such as Quark, Nog, and Rom. Quark leads a group of Ferengi on a rescue mission, with an overall humorous theme compared to usually more gritty war saga of other episodes in the series at this time. Reoccurring character or guest performances include Jeffrey Combs and Iggy Pop. Topic. Plot Quark's celebration of obtaining syrup of squill is cut short when he learns that his mother, Ishka, has been captured by the Dominion. Quark informs Rom and also tells him of their mother's secret love affair with Grand Nagus Zek, who is offering a reward of 50 bars of gold pressed latinum to Quark. He decides to lead a commando team composed of Ferengi and claims that the reward is 20 bars so he can keep a larger share. They first recruit Nog, making him strategic operations officer for the mission. Next, they hire Lek, a Ferengi eliminator, who does not care for Latinum but loves a challenge. Quark bails out his cousin Gyla, who was arrested for vagrancy and signs him up as a chance for redemption. At a briefing, the team learns they do not have a ship and are interrupted when Brunt arrives, asking to join. Having lost his job as a liquidator, he hopes helping rescue Ishka will make Zek give him his job back. When the team refuses, Brunt mentions he will simply return to his ship and leave. The team grudgingly accepts him. Running simulations on the Holosuite go poorly. The team is unable to kill any Jemahedar soldiers and on the eighth attempt, Lek shoots Ishka seeing that they were not going to rescue her. When Quark reminisces about the negotiations he went through to obtain Syrup of Squill, Rom encourages his brother by saying that Ferengi may not be good commandos, but they are excellent negotiators. They just need to find someone the Dominion wants and the Dominion will give them the person the Ferengi want, that way, everyone goes home alive. As thanks for helping Major Kira retake the station, Quark is given the captured Vorta Kievan and the group arranges a meeting with the Dominion at Empok Nor as its layout is identical to DS9. The team makes base camp in the station's infirmary, where Kievan reveals he will probably be executed once he is returned. He attempts to escape in Brunt's ship, but fortunately Rom disabled the ship after they arrived. Quark chased him because sometimes Rom gets it wrong. A Dominion ship arrives and the Ferengi find themselves surrounded by Jemahedar. The Jemahedar's Vorta, Yelgrun presents Ishka to Quark, Rom, and Nog, but, seeing the obvious strategic advantage that the Dominion troops have, they force Yelgrun to order his troops save for his two bodyguards to leave the station and immediate region of space. While celebrating the soon-to-be successful exchange, Rom accidentally lets slip the fact that the reward is actually 50 bars, not 20. In a rage, Gyla tries to shoot Quark but ends up killing Keevan, whose last words are, I hate Ferengi. As Yelgrun grows impatient, Nog determines that Keevan is dead. The team agrees to not give up and for an equal share of 50 bars. Placing a neural stimulator on Keevan's head causes him to swing his arm and Quark gets an idea. He changes the exchange point to the airlock where the ship is while Nog modifies the stimulators. 
At the exchange, they are able to get Keevan's dead body to walk and once Ishka is safely with Quark, the team ambushes Yelgrun's Jemahadar guards. Brunt asks what they will do with him, and Quark says that Yelgrun will be their gift to Starfleet. They gave us a Vorta, we'll give them one. The Ferengi team leaves Mpok Nor while Keevan's body continues walking into a bulkhead. Topic Reception. IO9 ranked the magnificent Ferengi as the 92nd best episode of Star Trek in a 2014 listing. In 2016, CNET noted that the magnificent Ferengi was rated one of the top 10 episodes of all Star Trek episodes in an audience-based rating at the Star Trek 50th Anniversary Convention. In 2018, Vulture.com rated The Magnificent Ferengi the 11th best episode of Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, praising the episode's humor, performance by Jeffrey Combs, and guest star Iggy Pop. The episode was noted as one of the top 20 funniest episodes of the Star Trek franchise in 2019. TV Guide noted this episode for guest starring Iggy Pop. <laughs>